Today I'm going to go more in depth with the Pyromancer than the demo has and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome back to a new video. Warning, this video contains spoilers that are not shown in the Outriders demo. So, if you don't want spoilers, please leave this video now. You have 5 seconds. You have been warned. So, today we're going to deep dive into all of the information on the Pyromancer that we currently know. I will be going over a little bit of what I will be going over a little bit of what is already in the demo and a lot of stuff that is not. So let's get started with what we already know from the demo first, then get into what the demo doesn't tell us. The Pyromancer is a medium range class that is a conjurer of fire. It focuses on anomaly power using AOEs or area of effects, being able to kill multiple enemies at a time and does this better than any class in the game. But let's go ahead and get this out of their way right now. In the demo, we get four assigned Pyromancer skills. These skills are Heat Wave, Feed the Flame, Thermal Bomb, and Overheat. Heat Wave summons a fiery wave that deals 42 damage and inflicts burn onto all enemies in its path. For those who don't know, burn does damage over time or dot. Feed the Flames allows you to pull an enemy towards you, dealing 59 damage draining 148 health and inflicting ash which immobilizes the target. Thermal Bomb selects an enemy to burn, interrupt, and deal 31 damage. If an enemy is killed while inflicted by this skill, the enemy will explode dealing 264 damage within a large radius. And the last skill available in the demo is Overheat. This ability does 9 damage to all enemies within a large radius and interrupts their skills. Enemies afflicted with burn, and this is from any of your abilities that inflict burn, receive 106 damage instead. However, this will also consume the burn from the enemy. Real quick, and this is actually important, even if you activate Thermal Bomb on an enemy, then use Overheat, if the enemy dies, they will still explode due to the Thermal Bomb's second effect will still be going off. Also, all damage numbers do go up the higher level you are, and it also depends on the gear that you have on as well. But, it is no secret that the Pyromancer is the squishiest class out of the four, and this cannot be denied. When it comes to healing your health, the Pyromancer gets its health back when an enemy dies while marked with one of the Pyromancer's skills. So, bullets by themselves will not heal your character. Now, let's go ahead and get into what the demo does not tell us. First off, the Pyromancer has three fundamentals, Explosive, Immobilize, and Ignite. One of the powers that we don't have access to in the demo is called Ash Blast, which applies ash to all enemies in a large radius. Once again, ash immobilizes the enemy for a few seconds. Due to the immobilization, Ash Blast can be used either offensively or defensively. On the offense, you can immobilize all of the enemies in the radius and either you can kill all the enemies with one of your skills, or by shooting them, headshots are definitely preferred. But this ability also sets up for perfect combos with other players that you are playing with. So for example, you immobilize the enemy with Ash Blast, and a friend can actually use one of their abilities to finish them off. Even if your friend uses their ability to finish off the enemies, you will still recover health from that. On defense, you can use Ash Blast to immobilize the enemies, and then put a little distance between you and the enemy, allowing yourself to regroup. Other powers that we have are called Pure Power and Dum Dum Bullets. Not much is actually known about these two abilities, but if I had to make a guess, Pure Power increases the damage inflicted by your skill-based abilities, and Dum Dum Bullets inflict burn with each round. Unfortunately, when it comes to the Pyromancer's skill trees, the demo doesn't really tell you what each tree's main focus is, so we'll be going over that right now. On the Pyromancer skill trees, on the very far right, we have Ashbreaker, Firestorm, and Tempest. Ashbreaker is for those Pyromancers that want to increase their damage against marked enemies and giving you a boost to anomaly power. Firestorm focuses on maximizing skill damage. This tree allows you to increase your anomaly power, your burning damage, and 
skill damage on marked enemies. Tempests helps you maximize your health bonus and reducing the damage you take from certain sources. But what is actually interesting about the Tempest Tree is that it also has an ability called Phoenix Nestling, which revives you after you die with 50% of your health. That is pretty interesting. And so far, that is everything that we know that the demo has not told us. So, now that we got all of that out of the way, I actually have an ability that I would like to see in a future update, and I actually want to do this for all of the classes. I call it Hellstorm. Hellstorm is a meteor shower that lasts for 3 seconds, bombarding the enemy and doing 17 damage each hit to an enemy in a large radius. Remember, your gear and level will determine the damage this ability does. So let me paint you a beautiful picture combo. You have 8 enemies close together coming at you. You hit them with Ash Blast, which immobilizes them, then follow up with Heat Wave, which throws fire onto them, and then you finish the enemies off with Hellstorm for massive AoE damage. In another scenario, you can start with Heat Wave, then Hellstorm, and then add fuel to the fire with Overheat. I'm not gonna lie, there are so many different combinations that you can actually use in this game, not including the ability that I made up, which was Hellstorm, but, but there's just like so much things you could do with combinations, either by yourself or with other players. Let me know what you guys think about the Hellstorm ability that I came up with in the comment section below. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Also, don't forget to join the Everything Outriders Discord. It's a place for the entire Outriders community to make friends, have fun, do some LFG, get tons of information about the game, such as pre-order content, patch notes, and future expansion updates as well. It's growing every day, so come and join us. A link to the Discord will be on screen and in the description box below. And I will see you guys in the next one.